In this video, I'll be showing you the updates that I've made to the Singularity. It's a marble machine that's in my Galaxy Marble Machine collection. So this is the original uh, Singularity marble machine. It's printed out of the copper material with the patina. And you can see it has that center um, column there. And that's one of the main things that I removed from the design. So you can see on this one here, it does not have that center column. And it's actually being supported by that track piece, so that beam. I also added a side beam in this location here to keep the marbles from falling out of the holes. So this blue version was version 2. In this video, I'll also be upgrading the blue version to version 3 to improve on a couple of other things that some people have pointed out. So you can see I'm just manually doing it now because I didn't want to put all the hardware in for this temporary version. But you can see it mostly works except there. Um, the marble can actually pop out of the hole. Um, if the wheel is just the right rotation and it bounces just right off of the lifting wheel. So what I'll do with the next version is I'll improve that portion of the base so that way the marble can't fall out. Also, I'm going to slightly increase the wall height just so that it lowers the chance of the marbles being able to fall out of the tracks anywhere along the marble machine. Okay, so I'm going to hop into Fusion 360. Uh, one of my favorite CAD design programs for this type of object. And I do have a Fusion 360 course that's um, it's live on Kickstarter at this point. Um, it'll be, it won't be live anymore after um, April 3rd, 2021. So if you're watching this video after then, the Kickstarter is long gone. The course should be on my website though, after the Kickstarter. So if you're watching this video after April 3rd, the course will be available there. In that course, I show you how to design practically anything from scratch in Fusion 360. So my approach to keeping the marble from bouncing out of the entry point of the lifting wheel is to add a diagonal uh, cross beam or brace, I guess you could call it. And that brace won't affect the print and place properties of the design, um, which basically means you don't need to print this object with any supports. Um, it all just prints as it is, um, as the STL file um, was made, you could just print it that way. It's very easy and it's very very neat thing and I it's fun to design things like that because it's a major constraint so it really challenges your your design skills so I'll just do a final design confirmation in Cura to make sure everything looks like it could be 3d printed with no issues and everything looks good it looks like this will work perfectly I've raised up some of the edges on the track pieces as well so that should keep the marbles from falling off and I've also added that brace and that should keep the marbles from popping out of the holes when it's entering the lifting wheel. I'd love to hear what your experience has been 3D printing these uh, marble machines, um, especially the Galaxy marble machines. I'm curious if you had any issues printing them or if they printed out fine first try. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching.